iliyoje Balisa nyuni ndiye jiririje Kuna neno nitakuja siku ya leo. Bali hilo mimi nikaita una kuresha leo. Toka kinywani 
cha Mwenyezi Mungu. Bali huwa ama mshinwa sho mkashawe. Na litakuwa ni la mabadiliko. Nenda shina ba shehe huyu si waho. Litakuwa ni la kuinua. Lina baje huku ni misanga. Litakuwa ni wa uponyaji. Lina baje huo ni si mkashawe. Na mtu amekaa kimngojea kwa. Iliyo mtu wenye soba na nafala ndani ni mkashawe. Mlani imekuzi. Iliyo shivie bishi fiti shini shaba na chukumi mbili. Amekaa amefinyu. Iliyo mtu mla ba ifala ndaba mbili sa. Amekaa katika hali fulani. Iliyo mtu mla ba ifala mumba ishaka yote. Kacho kuku saidi. Shishi ni la shaba na chukumi mbili.
in our churches. Our modern churches today. People don't want to speak about sin. People want to speak about blessings. You can be blessed in the morning. You can be blessed in the evening. You can go and die. But you wait for these blessings. You don't see them. And you wonder. Why was this prophecy scattered? And they tell you there's no chance. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. If you cannot get out of sin, forget about these things. Miracles will never happen in your life. Hallelujah. It begins by getting out of sin. The Bible says this. That in Samaria, people did wrong things. And the leader of the land was one of the people who were doing evil things. A servant of God by the name Elisha stood up and told Adam that because of the sins of this land, there shall be no rain for three and a half years. But I want you to know something else again. Before that prophecy, the man Elisha received double anointing from Elia when Elia was living. Do you remember that story? When Elia was living, this man Elisha received by double portion. And because he's led about a, a, a famine of three and a half years. The famine lasted for seven years. It was tapered. It was tapered. Now listen to me. I say who did say faith? Samaria was in trouble. Samaria was in trouble. Haunge pata chakula jojote. Ame shufu nuko kwa jogo zanata wa hivale nzano. Alafu kisoma yu storia mizuri. Niko asa minaruka na urobula yu ene. Utakuta mambo ya kushagaza sana. Unetano kia mimi inu vya uhuya angisa sana. Bibiria inasema. Ipa ipu ni huwa na useri. Chakula hila ambayo ni wena patikana. Badi mimi yu ipa haka minyori fanao. Ni vijwa ya punda. Bari chuki nweche zipunda. Na migu. Ni vishe. Ulisa chirani kama maisha wa ipula punda. Bari mimi wangu ni wano wanga waja ata kwa kepuna. Anasai bani ni? Ano kwa maeshi? Ata wai kula? Bani shuwa yoyota? Ata migu ya punda? Ata bani chera bunge le tuwa? Sasa skiliza? Ali sahi ro le tuwa? Wakati wai lenga? Bani huru ni poka lenga le? Ata kupata nyama ya punda ina wewe kwa problem? Bani ya kama kufu na msenga na ya punda ya basake ya vi? Sasa kwa nyama ya punda ilikuwa na ndeo wa falme? Huru ya huru ba ina nyama ya zimbo ya zipunda ya basake ya bani ya kwa falme? Bani raya? Na mkewa 
sita. Hadi sasa hii family era anaweza na bila kumka. Sasa kile kitu ambacho kingefanyika hadi sasa hii shindu chesi ya shaba na shukuru. Ungechukua karai. Kama unaweza kubaka kuna mkula nyingi. Wewe usimame chini ya mti. Unaweza kubaka kuna uimiba. Karai ambapo njiwa wanakaa. Hebu kama unishi nida au sasa ukiwa pale na karai yako. Unaomba Mungu. Kiwa jisaidie. Kwenda harusi nyingi. Waje chakula. Unaweza kubaka kuna fulani. Wewe ukule nyumbani na watoto wako. Ile 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 baba anapo. Sasa mtu unaje akiwa pamoja na mke wake. Sasa yupo na akili sika na watoto wawili ni baba na bana. Wako sita kwa nyumba. Bwana ngojeji wangapi wajisaidie? Kama njiwa mwenyewe afiki kilo moja. Sasa watangoja njiwa wangapi ndio wapate chakula kilo moja? Ah, ni ndani huko usi Mungu anaweza inaweza kuwasaidia. Wewe ni azo baba kwa Yesu. Sasa hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa Samaria. Aliyo saa hii shuni yosha basa kama Samaria. Na hiyo ndiyo njaa ilikuwa Samaria. Aliyo saa hii yoni yenza na hiyo kama Samaria. Aja ni kushangasa. Ali saa hii hapo ya ambiso. Haiku fikia tu hapo. Shio ayo shia kamila kusa wala. Ilienda mbaka ikafika kiwango. Yo reenda pata yola humu. Watu wakanza kula watoto wawo. Wapa watu wakanda anda humu. 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 Ikiwa unaweza kuwa na njaa na uletee nyamba ya punda na ukataye kula. Wewe na njaa kweli? Bali ngapi kwa mwenzako baba kule nyamba ya punda wao kwa kuli yao banyi nzara kweli. Kuna aliye na njaa anaweza kula jojo. Mungu ndio ni nzara hiyo shikusho hata la shimu ile kweli. Bwana asipe sana. Kwa hivyo video ya punda ilienda kakosekana mapi ya njiwa ikakosekana watu wakaanza kula watoto wao. Bali vitu mimi ndio nje punda sio wewe si anaweza kubanga tiwa kama fike uhusi na kokaa bando na huja baba. Are you hearing my point? Are you hearing my point? Are you hearing my point? But you might ask pastor. But as I come here to talk about what I'm talking to us. Where is the scripture? Let me tell you something. If you have your Bible, Second Kings. Second Kings number seven. If we have a big reader, kindly help us. Second Kings chapter number seven. Chapter number seven. Verse one. Verse one. Soma. Now listen to this. But I don't want to hear it. When the seven years were over. God remembered his people again. And he wanted to place this land. I want to tell you the people of Wangike. Is it Right. Yes, we are right. So I want to speak to the people of Wangike. God is giving you a word today. And this is the one that is going to transform your life. Remember it is Elisha that declared about this family. So God gave him again the word to speak to the people of Samaria. That's God is remembering them again. And you know, when he stood to, uh, to, to start speaking, the things he spoke, when you look at them, did not make sense at that time. Let's give a look at this. Let's give a look at this. Yani, wewe umelala njaa, iwe wako ni nzara, umeteseka, wako na kuni. Mafia njiwa imekosekana, kama sije kwako kesi, pia sije kuhusu kawe kada. Vitu ya punda imekosekana. Kimi ndio jezi punda tia wero. Umetamani kula watoto wako mesi. Uliwaka na usa huka na huja hapa anapo wakasikile. Lakini nabia nakuja anatabiri kitu ingine ya jambo. Meka hama romu mwe suku, nilena alika eta huko la shiku, ulela shindu shisha kama. Anakuja kutabiri jambo la jambo. Alika eta hulela shiko mwesha kama kama. Sasa sikilisa kile adadangu anasoma. Alika keza shensi ya yewe fowe hana hasa. Endele ya ten. Hilo sila kumanchi. By this time tomorrow, you will be able to buy in Samaria three kilograms of the best wheat or six kilograms of the barley for a one piece of silver. Sigiliza, I need a clear answer. Sahi siunga kilombi wa lanua siunga. Sahi wofu kilo sigiliza siunga siunga kwa mwana 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 Ijapo kwa kuwa sahihi kakula ni asa kupatika na kidogo. Sudi. Bala hali sahihi kwa kuwa kwa 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 kw
speaking about. The fruits we are speaking about. You will see it with your own eyes. But you will never partake of it. Ilikuwa inafanya wale watu wanatengwa. 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 
Ukonjwa inakata vitole Inakata vitole ingine Inakata vitole ya miku Mwili na parara Hata ukiyoka unakaa mtu umeparara Watu hawa walitengwa Walionekana watu wachangu watu waine walio kuwa wagonjwa wale tembo wamekaa kule langoni wale mbojea kufa kule I want to speak to you my brother my sister ambayo ulikuwa unakaa kungojea kisida kungojea kisida kungojea tapu hita tokea kwa sababu watu misu wa mungu tumekuja I am Catholic God in the name of Jesus Christ Haya kwa kitari ya nisema huko Today is your day. You are getting healed in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says this. Sorry, but I put it on my shin. These people, I don't know. Though they were rejected, by the way, the Lord was born. They were the outcasts. By the way, the Lord was born. They were the outcasts. By the way, the Lord was born. They were the outcasts. So one day they had a meeting. Speak to your neighbor. But yes, sometimes it is good to have your meeting. And if you don't have somebody to uh, to do a meeting with, you can have a meeting with yourself. Because the Holy Spirit is present. And our Father in the heaven is present. He will work out. So these people had a meeting. And they began discussing, asking themselves questions. It is good to ask themselves questions about your life. Where are you going? Where are you coming back? Are you stagnant? It is good to ask yourself questions. So these people began to ask themselves questions. Are we moving forward? What are we going to do? We are about to die. So one of them say. We cannot accept to die like foolish people. We must work out something. At least we, we die when we are trying. The reason why we are not succeeding, we are fearing to try. So when you fear to try, you cannot pray for. I came to tell you this, my brother. I came to tell you this, my sister. Is at hand, but you need to wake up and begin to act so that God can work it out. Listen to me. There is this good saying. And I know you know this saying. And I know you love this saying. But I want to show you something about this saying. Many people say this. I'm waiting for God. Which is very good. I'm waiting for God. But supposing you are waiting for God. Who is waiting for you? Is it like I'm saying this? Yeah. If you are waiting for God, and the same God is waiting for you to die. Who is waiting for you? <laughs> because your step of faith. The miracles you are in need of. We cannot just sit here and die. We have to try. The Bible says this. So these people say, because death is about to get us. And we are about to die. We need to do something. Thanks to God, we will live. And if these people will kill us, there is no problem. Because even here, we are going to die. Why don't you police us all right? Kifo ya kupikwa nisasi, bali hufa nilisasi, kifo ya kunywa sumu, li hufa we kunywa kutua, 
kifo ya ya kunyongwa bali jifa aliye huku kaka na kifo ya kuliwa na simba ni jifa aliye huri aliye huku aliye kuliwa ni simba kani mzuri kani mzuri yote ni mbaya yote ni mbaya yote ni mbaya Ah watu wakajua baba ndo baba baba nyama tukikaa hapa na wewe ale ana tutakufa unafaa na hata tukienda huko hapa kwanza ile yote ikiwa tutakufa ngawe unafaa ni sawa tu mahali hapa ni laitu bado tutakufa na wewe unafaa wacha tujaribu tufa tukiwa tunajaribu uoke uze ufe na baba pia bibilia inasema mapaka sio ule 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 uke ya huko asubuhi mapema ngotiki ni malavi wakaamuka wakaanza kutembea wanaelekea ile jeshi la
hata kutembea peke yake wangewaone vile wanatembea jameni bali hapo hukienda kwa sisi kwa mbona wako hapo tembo wakienda hapo the bible says alipa hiku ndio the wicked run bali ba watu wote walikuwa wanakuzumbua baba watu wote sisi na baba wote wamesimbua wanaendelea chini chini wanaanza kukusa uwele hadi baada ya kusoma katika zaburi ya 30 sawa asomea 30 kuli kwa taruna anasema ya kwamba yule adui baada ya adui utatafuta mahali hapo ukatoweza kujipaka utaona nikashikana maana Mungu atamfukuza kaenda kukaa
kosa kusaidia na Mungu amefungua njia. Ngawenga. Sifuwe sana. Bwana sifuwe sana. Sio wakabeba ile chakula. Wakabeba kila kitu. Wakabeba pesa. Wakaambia watu wa Samaria njooni. Kwa neno la nabii bali Na kesho na wao mali kumukamba itakuwa shilingi 20 wao mali kufuka ile kwa shilingi kama na mafuta itakuwa shilingi 10 ama kama fura shilingi 10 neno hilo likatimilika hii tiba tiba bati kwa sababu chakula ilikuwa mingi hula hula mingi kama mika mafuta ilikuwa mingi kama fura kama 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 wengine walikuwa wanapewa duma hilo la nabii likatimilika tiba tiba mungu asiwe kama mtisa aile kile za kama biblia inasema hivi biblia inasema hivi ile chakula ilikuja na unajua watu wamekaa njaa siku mbili katika hali ya kungangana kila mtu achukue hiyo chakula wakipita hiyo lango na kuingia yule kila ambaye alikuwa pale kwa lango ambaye alikejeli ambaye alikejeli neno la Mungu akasema haiwezekani wakati watu walikuwa wanasukumana akaanguka chini sasa yeye alikuwa daraja pale chini chakula aliona na macho ninapokaribia <tos> Shida umekataa kufanya kwa ajili ya hiyo. Shida angafishi tu ile wale vile huko na kusinzira inesh. Wakati mwingine umeokopa. Imbuke ndala wanya sobanga noria. Wakati mwingine una doubt. Paula wishirishi imbuke ndala wanya sobanga hawi. Tayari Mungu amekupatia revelation. Ule huko ni ambalo mkanda sana kwa idea. Wa huwa kama Jesus. Only what you are supposed to do. Mshe sunyala wa banga huko. But you are still waiting for another prophet to come. Ambalo ni wodi dilo Mungu suku ndule. Sasa basi utapata unabii ya uongo. Alisa ile ndio sababu baba na kia Mungu siwe bube. Mungu. Ambalo kwa sababu ile ana Mungu kashwa. 
atenda kwa wakati wake. Tena wale mungu kayewe. Hauna nafasi ya kumkanzo lumuliza basi. Sio ni wale mungu kayewe huko kwa sababu na mungu mude bibi yako bibi ndita. Remember he is the alpha and the omega. Manyori ni alumuchi bora to mumari. He sees the end from the beginning. Ni alumuchi bora to mumari. But we are only seeing here. Amara kuni wangu bana na busara. We are about to bow. Ni kuni wangu bana nyesha kumuka. There are things that God can avoid doing them now. Ni kuni wangu bana nyesha kumuka. 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 Ni k
wa kumbuka wana wa Israeli wakiwa katika nchi ya kigeni wao wabariki na kule na siku yao ya kurudi nyumbani walikuwa katika hotel nami ninatamka baraka katika nchi hii Jehova wakiwa hapa Mungu wangu watakuwa ni watu wa kubarikiwa Jehova wataonewa jicho ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu uliwabariki kwa viwango ndio wafanua na zaidi kumwaletea hotel maana wewe ni Mungu na kamu ya una viwango utukuze Mwenyezi Mungu Sande kwa mchungaji Julius pamoja na viongozi wa kanisa hili baba ninawaombea siku ya leo wale twalika hapa mahali baba wako na ndoto au uliweka ndani mwao basi nakabidhi kila ndoto mkononi mwako Mungu iwe ni ndoto ya maendeleo iwe ni ndoto ya kuwa na viombo iwe ni ndoto ya kupanuka katika huduma huu Mungu wangu ninatamoka wakati wa baraka umefika wakati wa kukumbuka umefika wakati wa kuonekana imefika Alba chilia nua ya niwe sekana hapa mahali kwa mamali hapa mahali nitakuwa ni mahali wa kumbukumbu kwa utukufu wa jina lako pokea sifa jeo asante kimilio letu asante mwana wa Mungu kila mmoja tuseme asante baba ni asante asante Mungu wetu asante asante kwa baraka asante asante kwa kutupanua asante kwa kutuonekania asante umetenda asante katika jina la Yesu